Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here back with yet another 100% achievement and trophy guide and this time we are getting it all in the brilliant storily told Retrace Memories of Death and I feel like this was made after watching Kenny as Mysterion on South Park, basically the same premise. Anyway, the game was developed by Spider Lily Studios, published by East Asia Soft and is available to you for, at the time of this recording, there is actually no price available. Um, but hopefully it's not a lot, as this is a great game to pick up and play. So we play as a girl called Freya, who, along with her four friends, end up trapped in this creepy old mansion, dungeon, sex arena. No, no, sorry, not sex arena. They're fun. Uh, but it's kind of a creepy setting anyway, as a ghost tour goes wrong. So Freya discovers that she can, every time she dies, Reload a save point and basically try again, hence the Kenny Mysterion South Park reference. Uh, <laughs> but achievements wise, we get all of the achievements for completing every ending, but you have to be careful with what you do in an ending because moving one thing or doing something else can have an impact on the next ending, making a lot making it a lot more unnecessarily confusing, so just make sure to follow along and copy everything that I do, although I of course will be letting you know anyway. So we can get this done in roughly around one to two hours as we smash through the dialogue as well. But it's a good story, so worth a read if you wish. But with that being said then, let us begin. Also for one, enjoy the music in this game because it's, it's a very good creepy setting slash the music is just awesome in this game. <laughs> properly, properly enjoyed the music. So we start then as Freya and you can just smash through the dialogue and then head down and you can see where the door is. It's just like a little extra bump line on the wall so press a the a button to interact with that and any dialogue options will usually come up with y x or b on the screen as you just see there so we'll already unlock our first achievement for leaving freya's home so we're going to head to the left there is the bus stop mia is going to come up behind us as well and uh touch us on the hips touch us on the thighs um any dialogue options there's a lot of dialogue options that don't matter so I'll obviously tell you when we get to the important ones I will obviously let you know what to choose but there's a lot of time we can just choose Y or X and it does me matter so all we need to do here then is once we're done just talk with Mia and talk to the other two guys for a second until it starts shaking and then we have a choice of who to pick So the first guy we're going to be grabbing then is Lucas, so make sure to press the X button there, make sure to choose Lucas, and we can get our first ending that way. So we end up in this sort of mausoleum right in front of five coffins, which is not discussed any creepy at all. So the first thing we're going to do is head to the right, on this bench there's a book. Basically we're going to be saving quite a lot, so press the Y button to record my thoughts on this book, and we'll be coming back here for the second ending. So go to the left now, top bench, grab this key. Who needs this many keys? Weirdos and pervs. And with that, <laughs> uh, head to the back wall, have a look at this star, and then interact with it. Uh, do not put something in, so press no, the X button. And then we should be good. So then head down, and then we are now going to take the sunflowers there on the third right coffin. So grab them, and then you interact with the top middle coffin. It's the one to the left of it there. So press Y, yes, and then press X, not yet. And then just interact with the coffin again when it opens up, and we're going to end up in a lobby kind of style, lobby kind of type thing. So interact with it again, we're going to end up back in the lobby. Right, so a bit of dialogue, but what we're actually going to do, now we going to be getting another achievement you'll get it a bit later on anyway but I just end up getting it out of the way first so Lucas is going to see this dead body hopefully not touch him because uh, you can get arrested for that but interact with the big door that is directly in front of us and uh, basically Lucas is gonna say it's a bad idea we're gonna press the Y button to say yes and then we're gonna press the Y button to basically say I insist or yes again uh, combined weight, yeah, do look a bit skinny, mate. Anyway, press Y to insist again. And basically, that's going to get us our first ending, but it's not related to an achievement. But what we're going to do as soon as we do, 
and somehow we die from from that I don't I don't know how we die from shoulder height but that means you must be like size minus 12 or something broken easily but every time we get to an ending we're always going to come to this bit now the five bucks in front of us basically means where we have saved so that's why we saved in the mausoleum so we can just basically go back to that save instead of uh, replaying the game again but for now we're going to head to the left book which is on the uh, left hand side obviously that's where a left book would be uh, press yes and we're going to start from the beginning but this is where we're going to unlock uh, the achievement sorry for returning back to the beginning again choose Lucas here so press the X button to choose Lucas and we'll just have to do the uh, couple of few things that we just did again you will get that later on but I just got it out of the way just uh, just as a just in case thing so we don't need to save again uh, because obviously we've already got the save so don't worry about that but head up to the top left bench grab the key again and then head to the back wall and interact with the star once again we're not putting anything in it so press X for no grab the sunflowers on the top right hand coffin and then interact with the middle coffin once more it does sort of come <laughs> quite fast at you but hopefully I'm going slow enough that you can catch up but if it's not if you're finding it hard to keep up you can always slow the video down by sort of 1.25 if it makes it a bit easier for you all right now we can go in and now we can actually just crack on with the game so the first thing you're doing is heading down the sort of door in the middle there and now we're basically gonna have to play detective which is always what you want on a ghost tour so this dialogue option doesn't matter, I pressed OK, sure. What we have to do then is interact with the gramophone first, which is just by the settee there, with the dead woman. Uh, smash through the dialogue, and then if you go and interact with the piano, don't interact with any of the shadow ghost dead people yet. So we'll interact with the piano. Now we can interact with the dead ghost, which, I don't know, does that make him... Incestual, not incestual, inceptual <laughs> ghost, <laughs> close enough. So it's a ghost within a ghost. So that's the one we're interacting with, the one on the seti then, which is already dead. And then go and speak to the leftmost ghost. <laughs> Press Y, what has happened, and then make sure to choose the option Alibi. And go to the, press the X button then, Alibi. And then after that one, we can actually just leave the dialogue by pressing the B button. So after we do this, go ahead and speak to the rightmost ghost, shadow ghost. And then choose about the piano, which is the A button option there. So about the piano, dot, dot, dot. Well, you wouldn't really say dot, 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 would you? And then we can just smash through the dialogue, and that is the end of that. Next, go ahead and speak to Lucas, the un-ghost, our pal, and then choose the B option, I'm ready to make an accusation. Or the third option, which is B, I'm ready to make an accusation. Choose B again, the sister, always the third option. It's always going to be the sister, so make sure to choose that. And then the butler's going to... The, the, the already dead butler's going to go mad, pull out a ghost gun, and... Shoot everyone with ghost bullets. Oh, unlucky, son. I bet that pinched a bit. The ghost feel pain? I don't know. Anybody a ghost expert? I want to know. Anyway, there's a, there is a door to the left right there, so we're going to exit through that again, pressing the A button. And it may flipping guard our friends are good. So, what do you do if you see a dead friends you go and touch them of course chunks of flesh have been uh, ripped away which is always delicious hmm? so there's a key on the middle table there you can save it here if you want to it's always worth saving just in case uh, but you take the key which is on the table and then we need to interact with Lucas again so make sure to give him that you can give him the ring you don't have to give him the ring literally makes no difference to any ending or any achievements so, and again, that doesn't matter either, that dialogue option, you can either make them pay. But we're going to head down to the right-hand side there and go back through the door. We're going to leave through the bottom door, the south door, where we came in. 
And then to the right, you can see this sort of trap door there. We're going to interact with that as well. Now press A a couple of times to get yourself in. And as you can see, there is a girl all in white in the jail cell. So interact with her. And we are going to be getting her escaped. So head down and to the left. And the music is oh, phenomenal here. And then go up, you see a dead body there. There's a skeleton. Next to it is a key, so pick up the key. And then go back to the girl on the right and let her free. And that'll be the first ending. That will be Lucas's ending. But enjoy the music. It is it's so good. So good. So there it is then, the detective. We've reached Lucas's end. Now the, the first thing we're gonna do here, don't interact with the leftmost one. We're going to the rightmost pedestal there, the green book. And it should read, I took Lucas's hand, woke up in the mausoleum. So we're gonna do that. And then there's a couple of choices you can pick again, but we're gonna press Y to go to the top option, the mausoleum once more. And basically we're going to be rushing through this second ending this time. So, obviously we're starting to get our Mysterion Kenny South Park power going right now. So the first thing we're going to do then is just interact with the middle top coffin. Uh, so this ending is a lot shorter, which is always nice. Always a pretty creative. And then we can leave it again to so interact with that middle top coffin again to leave it. And once here, we're just going down through the middle door here again. Make sure to do that. We're going to end up in the parlor once more. And we haven't got time to be playing detective, so we're just going to go straight out with the accusation. So once the dialogue option's done, go to the rightmost shadow, which is the sister. And then just press yes, the Y button yes, to accuse her. Which, I tell you what, it would just be so much easier if the police could do that. Although, a lot of innocent people are already in jail. Uh, so go to the left. We're heading through the door on the left-hand side. And, oh, hey, Mia. Oh, my God, Owen's entrails and guts have been ripped out again. Unlike Emaka. Don't touch stuff you're not supposed to. Anyway, interact with Lucas right here again. Everyone's sad and upset, but it's all good. It's not really, but... And then we're just going to end up back in the lobby. Again, dialogue options do not matter here. Pick whatever you want. You can have a little cry because... Everyone keeps dying in front of your eyes. Now that must suck. You gotta go through all these dialogue options anyway, so smash through it rather quickly. Once it's finally done, you're gonna have to interact with every single door. So interact with the trap door first, the right hand side door. And then we're gonna obviously do the middle door. So go ahead and stick with that. Hmm, try this. It's we got a key, but it makes no differentiate. Man, I'm just loving the music again. <laughs> interact with the left door, and then interact. There's a door directly opposite that. It's quite. It was kind of hard to see, but you got to interact with that. So don't worry about that. Now we can go through the middle sort of south door. Interact with the door on the left. We can't actually get through this time. But that is fine. And then go back down to the door we came from, which is south down the bottom of the screen. And that'll be the second ending completo. So there we go, we having a good time everyone, with death, etc. Yeah, fun, right? So we interact with the blue book on the leftmost pedestal now. We're going to be heading back to the old bus stop. And this time, we're going to stick our middle finger up to Lucas for now. And when all this kicks off again, we're going to be taking Mia's hand this time. 
our best bud, our lesbianical partner there. I don't trust joking, but we are taking Mia, so press the Y button, of course. Now, this one is extremely important. Before we go anywhere and before we move out, make sure to press the star. See at the back wall there? Make sure to press Y to put something in there. And that should be okay for now. But that is important because if you don't do that, it will actually mess up the next ending, which is Claire's ending. So go through all this, all through Claire's ending, and it'll absolutely mess it up. So make sure to interact with the start and put something in there first. So what we're going to do here, the Sentinel is now going to be walking about, but he literally does the same path. He's so easy to avoid. So go up here, interact with the book to save the game. Again, record my thoughts. Pick up the key from the Skeletonio. Oh, it looked like me a couple of years ago. Skinny boy. Skinny boy. I, I've got the same calves as that skeleton, though, which is depressing. Uh, we're just going to wait here for a minute for Senor Ugly to walk back past to the left. So there he goes, so now we can head on, so go down to the right, and then what we're going to do again is obviously um, get rid of Clay, not get rid of, that sounds like we're already killing her, I mean, let her free. So head to the jail, um, I never got caught by the sentinel, but obviously it's better to just get this part out of the way as quick as we can, as soon as he blasts through the dialogue here, head to the left and up, and we're going to be going up the ladder to escape. So again, any dialogue options do not matter. Pick whatever you want. If you want to be nice or if you want to be a jerk, we've all got a bit of jerkiness and a bit of niceness. It's a bit hard. But once we begin, go back down the door in the sort of middle door. Again, press the dialogue option there a few times. Just press A, we're going to uh, fly through. Then use the left-hand side door to go back into the library. Now there is a knife covered in blood just to the left of the table you can see there. So it might tastes delicious but still I wouldn't unless you're a vampire of course so we're gonna take the knife make sure to just blast the dialogue go up the ladder directly in front of you and the middle statue has a golden necklace which you might as well steal you might die but if you get out it might be worth a few bob so take that golden necklace head back down and then we'll be going back to the lobby so go to the right hand side bottom door there and then through the next door which of course is down and then out of the three doors at the top we'll be going through the left hand side door now so the left upper door we're going to be heading through now and we're coming through a chapel which is always creepy in any game even fun games it's always creepy head to the left and then head and interact with this left side confession booth right here and there's going to be like a weird magpie puzzle which i like magpies what I don't like, though, is the dead magpie that we got to pick up on the right-hand side there. <laughs> it's it's got to be done, Hunt. If you wanna if you wanna survive, we need to be picking up uh, the aid-infected dead magpie. So we're gonna head back down now, and then we're going to the left side door. So when we head in, this is another very important bit. Before you do anything, interact with the star on the back wall there, like we did at the beginning of the game with Lucas. So make sure to interact with that, and that will be good for Claire's ending. So as long as you interact with the star in the jail cell at the beginning, and this star, then we should be good for Claire's ending, the next one. So interact with the middle coffin there twice. Um, basically, she's going to ask about Lucas's pendant and make sure that it is Owen who is dead. <laughs> Again, that's a bit unlucky. He's not having a good time, this Owen kid, is he? So she shoved Owen in her pocket somehow. So make sure to grab the sunflower on the right side coffin there as well. And then we can head back to the upper right and go back into the chapel. Go to the top of the chapel once again and we're going to see six circles. Now basically they're all numbered, all small dots. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six. And what you need to do then is interact with circle one first. 
Now, I'm not sure if you can do this in any order, but I prefer to do it in this order as it worked well for me. Then interact with circle two, which would be two for joy. Uh, then interact with four, so interact with number four, which will be Owen, so she just manages to pull her out of her ass somewhere, which is very good. Interesting stuff. Then choose number five, which is for silver, which is the knife, apparently. Silver's a, a, a knife silver anyway, isn't it? Then choose six, that's for gold. And then what you can do then is interact with the circle number three. That'll put Mir on it. Very nice that she's willing to sacrifice her life, but then interact with the treasure chest. And then we can head all the way down and go through the door once again. So go ahead, do that. Just leave, yeah, just leave Owen there with his entrails and guts ripped out. That's fine. As long as we are fine, of course. So a little bit of dialogue is going to happen to end this, uh, well, ending. All we have to do is interact with the big double doors right in the middle, and that will be... Mia's ending, ending 3 out of 10, potentially. So that is ending three done, so once again we're going to head with the leftmost blue book on the pedestal there. Uh, yes, and once again we are going to be choosing Mia to grab. Now of course there are prerequisites for this ending, obviously completing Lucas's end which we've done first. Um, but again, make sure to grab Mia with the white button. And obviously, we left a note in the start in Mia's path in this jail cell here. And we've done it at the end of the mausoleum. As long as you've done that in ending 3, this ending should go. So again, we're going to interact with the star once again as we start. And you're going to get different dialogue. Which is basically sending the two boys a message. So make sure to do that first, again, before we leave this jail cell. So, head to the right again. And the um, Senor Ugly Voldemort type thing there is going to somehow not see us, which is always good. Comes in mega handy when enemies don't see us first. Um, so once again, we're just going to wait until he walks on by, and then we're going to head up this little um, alleyway, if you want to call it that. Again, we're going to save. We haven't had to, but it's always worth doing. Again, grab the key, but this time we are going to go after Senor Ugloso. And we're going to actually be caught by him this time, because Mia, once again, is going to sacrifice her life. So just head up to him. Mia, she's going to have her face sort of splattered in there with um, what seemed like a camera flash or something. Th thanks, Hon. Thanks. Love you. Ooh, awkward. Anyway, so we're going to get um, Claire out of this jail cell, and then we're going to head back up the ladder, which is to the left and up. Again, choose absolutely any dialogue here. I picked no, it's okay, and then she asks about animals. Pick whatever you want. I like doggy dogs, so that's what I went with. So head down into the middle door once again, and everyone's already dead at this point, all the ghosts, which makes our life a little bit easier. So head to the left. Now, you may expect a knife here, but that doesn't actually matter. So if there's no knife here, do not worry about it. I, in my first playthrough, there was a knife, which... Yeah, but in my second run through here, there wasn't, so that's fine. But we are going to head up the ladder, grab this golden necklace off this statue again. So again, if there's a knife, pick it up. If there's not a knife, do not worry, because you should get the ending anyway. But head down to the right again. Head down once again. Here we go. And then we're going to use the upper leftmost door. Or the northwest door, if you're uh, preferring that. That makes no difference to me. So once again, we're going to interact with the left confession booth. The right one literally does nothing. And then we're going to pick up the old aid-infected magpie for a nice bit of magpie soup. Aid-infected soup. Eh, nothing wrong with it. Uh, we've all had it at some point. 
Head all the way down and to the left, and this time, as long as you've done the whole thing with the stars, the middle coffin should be empty. So interact with the star again, but as long as that middle coffin is empty, then Claire's ending is good to go. Otherwise, if you just carry on as normal and the boys are in there, you'll get what's called the hopeless end, which obviously doesn't unlock an achievement. So as long as you've done, the, like I said, as long as you've done the things with the stars, you should be good to go. And that's empty. Grab the sunflower on the rightmost coffin, and then we're going to head back up, up to the circles. This time, we are going to interact with circle one, two, and six. So interact with one, interact with number two. Now, obviously, I don't have anything for number five, so we're just going to interact with number six. Then we're going to interact with number three once again. But of course, she's going to say, hmm, you know what, let's just uh, leave that to last. Which at this point, again, I thought I'd messed it up somehow. Um, because, of course, we got nothing for four, but we didn't have anything for five. But all we can do is just head down. So make sure you've got one, two, and six down. Head down, and that will actually be the end. And that'll be clear ending. And that's ending number four. So hopefully, like I said, with the stars, the middle coffin's empty. You should have got that down. Now, of course, I did actually mess it up first, so I actually went from the very beginning Lucas's end and went through it again, which was a bit of a pain in the buttonholio. But there we are. So now we can now go for endings five and six. So we're going to interact with the blue leftmost pedestal again. But this time we're going to interact and grab Owen. Not his penis, but his hand. Don't you think like that. So this time then it is the B button, the third option, Owen, we're going to be grabbing now. Now we're going to start immediately in the libel berry. So blast through once again the dialogue officers, uh, as we've been doing so far. Owen looks extremely happy. And the first thing we're doing then is head to the table in front of you and grabbing the key. Again, you can make a save here if you so wish. Probably not. It's really not that necessary, but just in case, isn't it? But that's what we need to grab first. So we're going to go up the ladder and take the golden necklace once again from the statue. She will not let this bloody golden necklace go, will she? She want to be rich on the other side. If we get to the other side. <laughs> it's like begging to be stolen. Thanks, Owen. It is. It just is. Bender-style Futurama stuff there. So we're going to head back down the ladder now, and there is the only other table on the left-hand side, the green and blue table. Basically, this is a puzzle that we need to get right. If we get it wrong, we die. Um, but luckily, I'm going to tell you exactly what to do. So, press Y, I'll do it now, and the first option to choose then is Sheep. So, X, the Sheep. And next will be Get the Shepherd Back Alone. So X again, send the shepherd back along. The X button. The cabbage. So X once again, the cabbage. Then choose the sheep again. So it's X again, take the sheep back. And then it's the wolf, which is Y. So the wolf, the Y button there. And send the shepherd back alone, the Y button once again. So that's sheep, back alone, cabbage, sheep, Wolf and back alone. Then once that's done, blast through dialogue, take the key that appears and then head to the door just below you. And again, the music, I am bouncing, I need a vodka. Etc, etc. Anyway, <laughs> blast through the dialogue once again. And this time we are going to interact with the trap door when we can. So there we go, interact with the trap door and then head on down. So for now, we're just going to head down and then to the left and then dun, 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 yeah. Mia's face has been, <laughs> well, that is a pretty disgusting way to go. You can take a look if you want, but um, yeah, yeah. So she got fudged up pretty badly there, did old Maya. Mia? Maya? I don't know. It depends wherever you're from. Mir. If you're from Spain, it's Joan Mir. 
Uh, sorry, no. Anyway, so we're going to head back up to the uh, ladder. It clears there, and we're like, ah, oh, bruh. And what we're actually going to do here, very importantly, is to make a save with the book. Just to, to the right-hand door there. So, very important to make a save here. Record your thoughts with the white button. Again, make sure to save and then head down to the south middle door there. Sort of the downest, middlest, doorest. We're going to end up in the parlour. And if we head straight up and uh, to the window there, you're going to see the knife just chilling. No blood on it for the moment. But we need to interact with said knife. Let's go up and grab that. There we go. Um, Lucas is going to have a little chat with us. And then Senor Ugly Moso is going to... Show his ugly face. As soon as this dialogue is done right. Meow. Again, dialogue options do not matter at this point, so pick whatever you want. So when Senor Dicknose comes through, just run straight past and out of the door below. And all we're going to do then is watch the cutscene here, and that will be Owen's end. And again, dialogue options don't matter, so pick whatever you want in again -o. So there is a reason that we made that save in the lobby there. We're going to choose the fourth pedestal, which is the yellow one. So choose the fourth one, and it should read, I took Owen's hand and woke up in the library. This time, choose the X button, the lobby. Make sure to choose the lobby this time. Otherwise, you go back to the beginning of the chapter. And we're going to be using the south middle door, the sort of downer middle door, to end up back in the parlor once more. And again, we're going to interact with the same knife, which is up by the window up top there. And this time, as soon as this dialogue... Again, you have to go through this little bit of dialogue again. Choose whatever option you want again until Senor Dickel Nozel will come through. This time, make sure to interact with Lucas this time. It's very important to get this end in. You have to speak to Lucas, and we are out of here. So there's going to be another bit of a long cutscene once again, but we, me and uh, us and Owen, we're going to end up in the uh, dungeon once again. So just smash through all this dialogue for a minute, and then we're going to end up in the dungeon with the rock and where Claire was being held. I'm going to say long, it was about 20-30 seconds, which is long for this game so far. So here we are then, interact with said big rock. And basically, Owen's going to get his mega trend steroid strength from somewhere. And that's going to reveal a key, which is always handy. Could, could have revealed that first, but there we go. So obviously, make sure to grab the key before we head up the ladder, because you can't get through a door without a key. And there we go, grab that, we're going to head on up. Owen with a steroid strength is just, hmm. And then we're going to interact with the uh, big door, and then that should be the loosen end. Basically, Lucas and Owen's ending together. Yeah, what a song. But I'm going to stop singing 
as to not destroy your ears. So choose the blue leftmost side pedestal again. By the way, does any women, do any women like it when seemingly weak boys all of a sudden get their trend strength on and move massive boulders? Is that, is that a thing women like? I, anyway. Anyway, make sure to choose <laughs> Mia once again. So the white button with Mia. And um, we're basically sort of doing halfway third ending kind of thing. But once again, interact with the star at the back of the wall by the bed before we move on. So again, interact with the star. Make sure to leave another note before we go. And again, this time we're going to be evading Senor El Smuso. Which I don't actually know what that means. I just made that word up. So again, it's going to be the same thing, so just wait until he goes to the right a bit. Head on up past this dead body with the um, back butthole all caved in there. Save the game. Again, if you wish, interact with the key, grab that, and then just wait 10 seconds or so for Smelly to walk by. There he goes again, we're just going to uh, go to the right and then interact and get clear out of her cell once more. Once we're out of the dungeon, use the left uppermost door. Again, we're going to be heading into the chapel. And then head all the way up and we're going to be grabbing that AIDS infected dead magpie delicious yum yum soup boy. We'll make sure once again to be grabbing that magpie. And then once we're done here, go down and we're going to be using the left door right here to go back into the mausoleum. This is incredible. So again, as long as you made sure to interact with the star in the jail cell, the middle coffin should be empty. So all we're doing here is taking the sunflowers on the right-hand side coffin. So grab that, and then we are going to actually interact with said coffin this time. And make sure to leave, and we're going to end up back in the lobby. This time we're going to be heading down, sort of south middle door once again. And all this is going to happen, but basically the legends... The boys, they have done it. And then all this stuff's going to happen again and the butler's going to lose his mind. Shoot the maid, shoot himself, job done. Again, quite unlucky there, if you're in that situation. But we're going to be heading to the left door. We're going to have a little bit of a conversation with Lucas now. Again, any dialogue options don't matter. Thanks, Lucas, you suspicious dickhole. So, we're going to be grabbing the necklace first this time. Again, you can't be leaving without that uh, worth a couple of bob golden necklace, can we? Head back down, we're going to grab the keys on the desk now, on the middle table. And once again, we are going to be solving the diorama puzzle, the blue and green table on the left-hand side there. So, once again, obviously you'll have to say yes, we're going to get into it. So remember, it is the sheep first, so X, the sheep, second option there. The shepherd to go back alone, which is the X button once again, option number two. The cabbage, which is the second option, number X there. The sheep once again, so that's X, second option again. And then it is the wolf, the top option, number Y, and then it is back alone. Send the shepherd back alone. Why? And then that will complete that. That's going to get us the key. And then we can 
exit uh, with the door just below us once again. Don't do it! Please. And once again, it's just going to be another long cutscene. And basically, we're going to get through this door now and end up in what is called a conservatory or a conservatory. Now, this does look fit, but of course it's not all as it seems. So we're going to interact with Ma uh, Lucas, sorry. So very important to make sure to talk to Lucas here. Basically, he's going to ask us to uh, push us off the cliff. Again, from here on out, um, any more dialogue options, you can just pick whatever you want. It's all going to be the same outcome. And you should get the Neo in end achievement. Now, for whatever reason, the achievement didn't actually unlock for me here, um, but you'll see me get it at the end of the game. Basically, if there are no achievements that unlock for you, just completely quit out of the game to the Xbox dashboard, load yourself back in, and then you should uh, the achievement should unlock for you there. But again, I'll show you that a bit later on. So we're going to interact with the white book and end up back here. This time, make sure to talk to Claire, old blondie, blondie, blonde boo. With the white dress, you know, Claire, you should know it by now. But make sure to talk to her, and that should actually be the next achievement for completing the true puzzle. But again, you'll just have to smash through the dialogue. Any options that come up, again, do not matter. Pick in whatever you're wanting. So this is where the final endings we are going to be getting. So the first things first to do, interact with your bed. It'd be nice to take a nap, but we can't interact with your slippers at the end of your bed. Yeah, would be nice, but tough titties. We've got friends to save and then interact with your computer. Which again, just to play and sleep all day would just make your life a whole lot easier, wouldn't it? So interact with the right side most bookcase now. You're going to have to interact with this a couple of times. Um, I sort of head up a little bit and then go to the right. As you see me doing here. A um, couple of things are going to happen. As soon as this happens, you just need to interact with your bookshelf again. And basically what that's going to do is move to the side. Pick any dialogue option once again here. I just choose. i got to save my friends because 
I want an orgy with them, but I can't tell them. I mean, um, because they're my friends and I love them. So, once you interact with the bookcase again, we can now interact with the space in the middle. And from here, what we can do is uh, have a little bit of a chat with Lily right here. Again, dialogue options do not matter. But once we're done with that, we're going to exit through the only door, which is down south. Right, so we're going to end up in this weird, weird kind of parallel hallway or whatever, but we're going to be interacting and saving with this book quite a few times uh, for the last sort of 10 minutes of the game. So save your stuff first, then head to the left and then up to the sort of middle west door, if that's what you want to be calling it. Um, and then if you go to the right and behind the table, just interact with the photos. And then our pal Lucas and Claire are going to come through the door. Again, you can choose what you want here. I just choose uh, the emerge option there. Why? I don't think it makes a difference. I think he's going to see us anyway. So now we're going to be heading back out. And before we do anything, we're going to go into the middle of this weird staircase way and save the game again. You sort of have to zigzag your control to get up and down these stairs, by the way. <laughs> but make sure to save once again. And then head up to the left. Left upper door this time. And interact with the door and then press the A button a couple of times just to be able to get through. And we're going to speak to Mia again. Once again, all dialogue options do not matter. Picking whatever you're wanting. So, as long as we know where everyone is, head back down and again, zigzag back down actually. Once again, just make a little save with the book if you so wish, but we're just going to go back to the lab where Lucas has been held, so the sort of middle left door there. And then we're just going to speak to Lucas. Uh, quite a bit of dialogue once again is going to happen, but there are more important choices that we need to choose this time. So, uh, speak to him and then... Basically, there's going to be one dialogue option that says, I have an idea. So that's what we're going to pick first. So for the next dialogue option, make sure to choose this room. So in this room, which is the bottom option, B. And then, after you're done talking to Lucas, then go ahead and speak to Lily. So this first option doesn't matter here. You can choose she could have, she couldn't have. This bit doesn't make it difference but it is the next dialogue option after this one which is the most important we're going to be choosing the dialogue option it's relevant so here we are then it's the top option number y it's relevant and of course, I know I've been saying number X, number Y, that's all for jokes. I'm honestly not that dull. <laughs> but this time you can either reassure a questioner, it doesn't matter, we are done with this bit. We're just going to finish the dialogue and then we're going to leave the room.
Oh my gosh, what a twist, bruh! It's goddamn Owen! Why are you dressing up like a girl, hon? But you look, you, you look goddamn good. By the way, any dialogue options do not matter, so you can pick literally whatever you want from this point out. Yeah, literally, Owen does look good as a woman. That's, that's confusing my genitals a little bit, to be honest. So, leave the room once more. Again, this time it is important to make a save in the middle of the room. And go ahead and do that then. Yeah, record my thoughts. There we go. Head up to the left upper door where Mia's room is. And we are basically coming to the end of the game now. There is a book there. We're going to have a little bit of dialogue again. You can choose whatever you want once more. Literally makes no difference. There is a book that we can save, but for some reason, I couldn't get it to save. That is why I saved just before we came up to the room. And as you can see, I am having some troubles. Uh, but basically, to end this bit, we just need to interact with the wardrobe, sort of the middle of the big massive wardrobe which you cannot miss I'm still trying to save the game at this point but it, for some reason it doesn't yeah for some reason it didn't want to work if you can save it save it here it saves you sort of 10 seconds and a walk up the stairs that's literally all it does but yes we are ready to face Clary Magoni clairvoyant chocolate eclair now to get the two endings once again the dialogue options do not matter, so you can pick literally whatever you want. It's when we've got a choice of either staying with Claire or going through the portal at the end. Uh, they are basically the two endings, and which is why we made that save just about a minute before. So just smash through all the dialogue here until we get to the portal slash Claire bit. So, here is the portal, so of course the two endings are for choosing either clear or going through the portal. The first one we're going to do is go through the portal and get our goddamn asses home, because flipping the bird, screw this place bruh. But we are going to be heading home, that is going to unlock the gold ending achievement. So again, watch the various cutscenes and smash through the various dialogues as we've been doing through the entirety of the game. Oh my god, I feel so good. You sort of always, um... Air seems so underrated when you're trapped in a deadly situation. And what? What's happening here then? Well, everybody loved a happy ending. So, we have the first proper ending, if you want to call it that. So now you should only have one achievement left and that is for getting the white ending which is for picking clear obviously um, this is the credits by the way so you can literally just go all the way down only takes about 20 30 seconds to get through them all um oh uh, kitty skies huh ah kitty skies that's cute Anyway, so yeah, just smash all the way down but yes so you should only have one achievement left um, again you will see me unlocking the um, Mia and Owen 
achievement a little bit later on. But for now, we're going to press continue when we get back to the main menu. Head up to the door again and then just once again go through all of the various dialogues until we get to the ending with the portal or picking clay obviously this time we're going to be picking the chocolate eclair gal Uh, that main villain, the main villains need to brush their teeth. I don't know why they think they look scary with Ginger Vitus for. Uh, apparently that adds to the scariness. It just makes his breath smell. Make sure to choose clear this time then. And choose the Y button, of course, there. The I'm not going anywhere option. So make sure to choose that. The Your friends will nip on home and that will unlock the white ending. Lovely job, lovely. So by now you should hopefully have all 12 out of 12 achievements unlocked. Again, if you don't and one of the achievements glitched out on you like it did with me, what we can do is just head, uh, quit completely out, as you can see here, so quit out, go back into it. And there we go, go back into the game. East Asia Soft, always publish some good games. Press the A button to begin. Sign in and then hopefully as it did for me there it should unlock for you So that should be 12 out of 12 Hopefully you guys have had no issues with it though, but again if you did um, Any achievements glitched out on you that's the way to do it and hopefully it worked for you But that's it then guys and gals so retrace memories of death What did you think hopefully you enjoyed the game hopefully you enjoyed the guide as well And we had a laugh as we always tend to do hopefully um, but yeah, thanks so, so much for watching, guys and gals. Don't forget, of course, to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Check me out on all my socials, Twitter, Instagram, Patreon. Big shout out to all my Patreon supporters, especially TimG84. Thank you so, so much again, guys and gals. I appreciate it. Love you guys. See you in the next one. Big love.